Hoping to spend the 21-day lockdown with loved ones, thousands of Eastern Cape residents who work in other provinces made their way home. It looked like the December rush in some areas. The health department says screenings took place at the entry points. We are worried in the sense that when you have got an influx of people who are some of them coming from areas that are already a bit having more numbers, we are worried about that. This is the reason that we've actually ensured that all borders coming into the Eastern Cape have got roadblocks. Part of the staff members that are there on the roadblocks are nurses, which is where we are doing just basic screening of temperatures, that those temperatures will be the one that actually guide us as to where we go. The Amakosa Kingdom says it is hopeful that people will comply with the regulations. We as uh, the Tosa Kingdom took a decision uh, after the passing on of uh, His Majesty, the late uh, King Zolong, that we would observe the morning period until December. So COVID-19 is coming at a time at which no circumcision school will take place within the Tosa Kingdom until December. While measures are in place, people remain concerned about contracting the virus. The government did not do enough to make sure we know about this corona. I have nothing to protect myself and I'm a bit worried I might contract it in the Western Cape. Residents in rural areas say they hope the government fulfills its promise of providing clean water to them as many areas struggle to access clean water. Randy Lembulali SAPC News, not a great place in the Eastern Cape.